Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the Work Stuff brushes. Now there's a video that we did already that show you how to use these brushes on your wheels and some other ways, but I wanna show you the rest of these brushes because there's a variety of ways that you can use these. And there's a variety of brushes and some might be confused as to why do you need all these different colored bristles, all these different sizes. For interior detailing, you need brushes. You don't wanna skimp out on interior brushes or even exterior brushes because if you get some of the cheap ones, this will happen. Yeah, water builds up in them and then they will eventually crack and break on you. And sometimes the bristles are just not really good quality and they end up breaking and snapping on you. So yeah, chuck those. Now the work stuff brushes, these things are incredible. When you look at the quality of the brushes, now there's two different handles. You have the rubber grip, which are really nice for wet work if you're using them for exterior. These ones are also extremely tough they're just a little bit slippery. So when you're trying to use these on the outside with soap and cleaner, they can slip out of your hand. These though have a really nice grip. So they do come in these two different styles. Now we also have four different types of brushes here. Why so many? Because there's all sorts of different surfaces and things to clean inside and outside of your vehicle. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite that I like to use. That's going to be the natural boar hair bristle brush. I like these bristles because they're great for dusting. They're also great for any type of wet work. You can spray the cleaner right into it and agitate, and they're really, really nice bristles. These are my favorite so far. Now, these are the synthetic bristles. This is natural boar hair, this is synthetic. Now, you have a couple of different grades here. The white one here is super fine. They call this the albino. Very soft, great for delicate interiors as well as exteriors. Again, you can use all these brushes inside and out, wet or dry. That doesn't really matter. What does matter is what you want to use them for. I use the white ones for interior on delicate stuff. You can you can use them to dust. You can also use them for wet work. Now we have the albino orange. I don't know why they're called albino orange. They should just be called orange. This one's just a little bit stiffer, barely. But these are all chemical resistant. Again, you can use it for dry or wet work. When it comes to the, these two, I don't really see too much of a difference besides the color themselves. Then you have the black synthetic bristles here. Now you notice too, the black one is just a little bit longer. They kind of range in different lengths of the bristles, but I would use the black bristle brush here for perhaps exterior wheels, and you can get them in different widths. What you see here are all of the fine ones, but let me show you some of the other thicker ones that we have. Now this big guy I use for a lot of my exterior wheels, and nice and thick. It's almost two inches wide. Tons of bristles, they don't skimp on bristles. Some brushes don't have the center bristles, it's just kind of around the edges. And when you go like this, you can see that it's hollow. This is not. It is completely thick all the way through. So no skimping on quality on this one. Now we also have some other brushes hanging up here. We have more of the black synthetic, the orange albino, some more sizes here, and some more over here. So we have the large one here. I'll use this on wheels, exterior grungy parts. And then I'll use the nice white one for interiors and I'll use these for interiors as well. So you can mix and match and do whatever you want with these brushes. There's just a huge variety. Now we're working on this Highlander and it's pretty grungy up here in the center console and dash area. So let's use these work stuff brushes to clean up this mess. So we're going to be using the boar hair brushes specifically because they're ending up to be my favorite brush. Just to give you a comparison, here are the other brushes that we also use. But the handles on these work stuff brushes are superior. So I'll use one brush to dust all these areas before I use any chemical. Give me that brush. Hey, I was using that. Well, good thing I have plenty of brushes. I'll just go grab another one. These boar hair brushes are a perfect combination of aggressiveness and softness. You can use them dry or wet and they work really well.
When cleaning the dash or the center console of any vehicle, you're dealing with a lot of intricate areas, a lot of tight spots that can be difficult to get into. What you see me doing with the brush here is squeezing the bristles together to get into those finer tight areas. So overall, these brushes are amazing for interior cleaning. From the dash, the center console, to the door panels, these brushes do it all. So now all of these intricate areas, whoops, I won't go in there. Now all these intricate areas are cleaned up and ready to go. So guys, pick up some of these work stuff brushes. They are quickly becoming a detailer's favorite. Awesome quality and We'll see how long these last. You know that I'm in the mobile detailing business, so my tools definitely get used and abused. So we'll definitely be using these things and see how long they last. If you wanna pick up the work stuff brushes, then check out Car Supplies Warehouse. You can pick up all the different sizes, all the different bristles. Don't get too caught up on what bristles are for what, because they can pretty much be used for anything and everything. But just know that this is the natural boar hair one, and the rest of these are synthetic. So they are chemical resistant. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So we'll see you next time. Have a great Great week. Take care.